Are you moving to Austin, Texas? Taking a look at some of the suburbs around Austin and trying to figure out which one's going to be the right fit for you? You're going to be working in Austin and trying to figure out if you can get by with that commute? Well, in this video, I'm going to be talking about a city that's located about 20 miles south of Austin, which actually gives you a pretty decent commute, not the hour and a half that you get in some other places. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the reasons why maybe you should consider living in Kyle, Texas. If you want to know more, stay tuned. In 2021 and part of 2022, it was very, very, very difficult for a buyer to buy a home in the Austin area. I mean, if you found a home that you liked and you put an offer on it, you had at least a handful of competitors competing for that same home. Interest rates were historically low, prices of the homes were skyrocketing, and it was just a very difficult time for buyers. During that time, homes in Kyle, they were kind of priced pretty affordable, so it became a really, really popular area. There's a lot of growth there, a lot of new communities, a lot of new builds, a lot of options as far as home types. So naturally, it's going to attract people with families and things like that, like they're attracted to that area. So here's the good news for today. And we're going to get into the cost of living and we're going to talk about some of these other things and some of these other reasons why Kyle might be a great fit for you. But before that, if you guys are looking to move into the Austin, Texas area, give us a call, text, email, nights, days, weekends. We'd love to hear from you guys and love to help you with any and all of your real estate needs. Now let's get into that cost of living. So as you guys probably know, right now interest rates are on the high side compared to what they were a year ago. Right now with the interest rates being up, some buyers have put the brakes on, they're not buying any homes, and we're still not at a high, high level of inventory, but it's still a lot better than it was as far as being it, or maybe it's just less buyers, so you have less competition trying to buy a home. Well, in Kyle right now, there are a ton of options to buy homes. I mean, you can get a pretty nice home at an affordable price. I was taking a look through the MLS and I'm seeing many options in the 300,000 range, like three to 400,000, and it does go up in some of the other properties. There are some higher price point properties, but tons of options in that $300,000 range. You may be able to buy a $500,000, $600,000 home, but if you can get one just as nice for $350,000, $380,000, why wouldn't you, right? So here's the thing about buying a home in Kyle right now. If you guys are thinking about it, don't let the interest rates scare you too much. Yes, they're high. Yes, they're higher than they were before. Yes, there's inflation and all that stuff, and there's a lot of things that go into that. I understand that. But think about it this way. If you can, if you're moving to Kyle, like you know you're moving there and you're looking to buy a home, go out and look. Because if you find a home that you really love and you want to buy, you're going to be able to get it at a really good price right now. A year from now, if the interest rates drop, refinance. Drop the payment, then you'll have the best of both worlds. You'll have the lower interest rate and you purchased at a lower price point. Because what's going to happen when those rates start to come down is those prices are going to start to inch back up. So just be cautious of that, okay? I'm not saying you should run out and buy a house. If you can't buy a house, don't do it. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. Make sure it's something that's definitely in your budget. But if you are, great time to start looking. If you guys are enjoying this video, please subscribe to the channel. Tap that little notification bell so you'll be notified when we release future videos. And smash the thumbs up button for me. Another reason to consider Kyle. Their schools receive high ratings. They're part of the Hayes Consolidated Independent School District, and if you check out niche.com or greatschools.org, you can read reviews and ratings and look at all that stuff when it comes to the schools. We've had a lot of families that look at Kyle because they like to be on the other side of Austin because they're commuting into Austin and it's a lot closer than coming from the north. So I, I say closer, the distance could be the same, but the drive tends to be a little bit easier driving north into Austin than it is coming down south to get into Austin. So just keep that in mind if you're working in Austin or downtown or anything like that. You're also pretty close to the airport too. So if you travel a lot for work, you're about 20, 25 minutes and you're at the airport.
One of the great things about having highly rated schools is buying a property there. It helps hold your property value. So if you guys are looking long term or if you're looking like, hey, this is the first house I'm going to buy, but then later on I want to move to a different area and I want to hold on to this and rent it out. If you buy near a school, I mean, that's a, that's an investor tip. Buy near a school that's got good ratings. and That's a great place to buy a home. You shouldn't have any problem renting that out or leasing it out later on when you decide to move on. So let's talk more about the location. You're close to San Antonio, close to Austin. You're in Texas Hill Country. You got rolling hills. You're close to lakes, rivers, all that kind of stuff. If you guys are into the outdoors, Kyle's a pretty place. You guys should definitely take a look. Uh, now I will say that every every city kind of has its own feel around Austin. It's kind of weird. You would you would think like you'd get on the road, you start driving, you hit one city to the next, and it's kind of like it's like just where am I? Am I in the same? Am I still in Cedar Park? Am I still in Kyle? You can actually kind of tell when it switches, believe it or not. And it's one of those things where I I don't really know too many areas that I've personally lived in that's like that. I mean, I, I lived in Southern California for a while, and it was very much concrete jungle, driving one city to the next. And it's like the only way I could tell that I was in a different city was, well, one, I, if you know the area, of course, but the street signs would change. So then I'd be like, oh, yeah, okay, we're in somewhere else now. But uh, Kyle, very pretty scenery. A lot of nature feel to it. Uh, if you guys are looking at some of the new communities, there's a ton to choose from. So definitely, definitely right up there if you're into that outdoor feel and you're into the outdoors, Kyle can fit your needs. So you might be wondering, is Kyle still growing even though you're saying there's more homes for sale? The answer is yes. They are still building new communities. They are still expanding. The developers are still in the area. And one question we actually got about, uh, about Kyle before was about a Costco. Well, great news, Costco's open. Yeah. You guys got your Costco there. Now you don't have to drive into Austin or San Antonio to get to Costco. You got one right there in Kyle, which is awesome. Um, we're, we're starting to see Costco pop up in more cities in the area and believe it or not It's one of the things that people miss when they move here from other areas Some of you guys are probably sitting there thinking well, yeah, duh <laughs> Like that's where I get all my groceries at Jay. What the heck? Um, but just know that Costco is open So what's the feeling, Kyle? Well, you're definitely going to feel the construction. There's a lot of construction everywhere. That's kind of unavoidable anywhere in this area at this point. But it still kind of has a small town feel. You got tight knit communities, community events, festivals, things like that. And if you're into the bigger stuff, again, Austin's just 20 miles north of you. I mean, you talk about having things to do and going out and spending your weekends exploring and all that kind of stuff. Man, you're pretty close to everything. Shoot down to San Antonio, check out the Alamo, the Riverwalk, all that kind of stuff. Endless opportunity for things to do. Lots of the outdoor stuff. Again, you guys are, if you're into that, which most people who move here are, are into the outdoor stuff. So we talk about that a lot because it's one of the things that makes living here really, really, really great. So definitely a lot of things to do. Definitely a lot of things for families. And they've even got some cool little like family hangout spots in Kyle too. They've got Evo Entertainment, which is pretty cool. You guys can go into Evo Entertainment and there's bowling, 
there's an arcade, there's a theater, and there's some places to eat. So definitely a cool little spot, definitely a cool hangout spot, especially if you got a family and you're looking for things to do. So as far as the city's concerned, and th this this video is about the reasons why you should consider it, so this kind of falls into the yes and no on that one, but if you're not into the big city feel like Austin, like you don't want to live with the sky rises and all that kind of stuff, you don't want all the noise and all the traffic and everything else that comes along with that, then Kyle might be a great great spot for you. I mean, it's again, it's got that small town feel, the population's going to be about 50,000 right now. It's it's so it's not huge. Uh, it will it grow? Yeah. I mean, with all the with all the development going on, I'm, I expect it will. Uh, but it's definitely not that big city feel. It's definitely a lot more low key, a lot more relaxed, a lot more whatever you want to call it. You can chill more. There you go. But great option if you don't want to have that big city feel. If you guys happen to be in Kyle or you're coming into town to visit. You guys got to stop by Koi Chinese and Sushi Restaurant and go talk to Wayne. You guys may have seen him in some of our previous videos and he still pops in once in a while, but he got he got a little camera shy, so he decided he wanted to kind of be on the other side of things, but and that's okay. But if you guys are in town, definitely go by there, say hi to him, tell him you saw this video and and I told you to do it. He'll start laughing. Um, um <laughs> <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> oh, come on, guys, come on, help guys, me out. Help Embarrass me out. Wayne. Wayne. <laughs> so, if you've been considering Kyle, again, it's a great time to go buy a house there. Uh, you're definitely going to have your choice. You have your choice of places to live. You can choose if you want a existing home or a new build home. You're going to get a decent price. I mean, prices are are decent right now, guys. I can't stress that enough. Uh, definitely something to consider. Uh, but if you guys are coming to the area at all, give us a call, text, email, nights, days, weekends, doesn't matter. We'd love to hear from you guys and we'd love to help you with any and all of your real estate needs. Please subscribe to the channel, tap the little notification bell so you'll be notified when we release future videos. Smash the thumbs up button for me. Remember, we got your back when you're moving to Austin, Texas. Till the next time, catch you later.